uh, the common era, and we're somewhere in the depths of the lowest east side. And we have with us today a remarkable poet. Uh, I'm going to call him a transatlantic. No, he's a transcontinental European-American poet. Would you like me to call you that? Valerie Astiano. And uh, he has a, a very fantastic past history and a, a, a great future and a present right now. And I'm going to um, turn over the show now. Head, lace, bra. Abruptly, night has melted. A red object flickers in bed. Another sleepless night. Tea time with blind spiders on the wall. Wine time with Queen Cobra. I'm talking to her eggs, loud and haiku. She wiggles her tail between your thighs. And suddenly, the air is filled with enigmas of your vaginal perfumes, with poison of your torturous frolic, with discretion of the slave master domination and the vague promise of your virginal but tyrannical ass. I open my eyes and what do I see? Jumping exaltation, bread bra, 34C, dancing amber breath like two white cats inflating and deflating muse. Red bra, red corset, red nipples. Give her the wheels and she'll find the top of the world. These are not flashlight, my dear. These are my eyes watching your red brazier disguised as lovers still recovering from the shock of ultimate body quakes from the Mount Venus eruption. Open the gates of your red brazier. Let those jolting desire escape to lewd revelries that keep my heart on permanently blue. Let's run with unfurling lust with the clouds below the equator. The sunset has just begun and you are are swimming in the ocean laced with red brazier by caress crosby with unrecorded vision of sex and swelting through my skin and vapors of magic are lifting us to madness to madness to madness thank you um, here is another uh, uh, um, erotic uh, uh, poem uh, called Aroused Royal Desire, and I'm going to stand up for this um, uh, poem, and it goes like this. Don't ignore your fuchsia-colored karma. This forgetfulness is just a temporary amnesia. Purple, vengeful moon, the night of lightning storms. I'm cooking by the fire, watching you set up camp with young lover. Next to a Malachi truck, I light a match, and sensual fire heats my abrodisia coffee. You arouse my sinful lust just by lying down, moving your toes rhythmically to a silent music. Your breasts don't follow the laws of gravity. They stay erected, pointing to a full moon. The hot rain brings us closer. The worms of your ass shoulders us together as we edge into the night of seduction, as we carve a cave for alchemical sex. My tongue touches your tongue and his tongue in your contest of wild strawberries, making love listening to Sade, making love at night, making love in the morning, making love in the afternoon. Two pair of lips, one cock, two cocks, one woman, the famous French sandwich in the champagne oasis, pissing, coming, giving sexual tremors. The song says, it's never as good as the first time. Ageless, hedonistic bliss, let me lick your asshole, the holiest of shrines, and open slowly your thighs, and the friends, the erotic drunkenness ensues, savage tongue kissing. I penetrate beyond the flickering fire. I plunge beyond the night, lonely, scared, unbearably surreal. I feel the flesh of a magical threesome, sucking, sliding, gulping. The divine friction is hurling us into the starry sky of love. Thank you. Oh, if only Cicesco could hear that now. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, uh, the only uh, thing that uh, was liberated after my liberation from Romania is my uh, erotic writing. I need mean, one minute left. So what is your uh, magic prediction for... Uh, Two minutes for uh, Romania and Eastern Europe. 
The Eastern Europe is going through quite a change right now. I would say Romania will try to unite itself with the Soviet Moldavia because they have a common language and common culture and they have a common history going for about uh, um, 700 years. So that will be a very interesting thing. A lots of new national flags are appearing on the horizon. Estonia, Lettonia, um, Latvia. Uh, Romania. <laughs> Transylvania is no, still... Not Transylvania, Tsarania. <laughs> Tsarania. Yeah, the Tsarist flag is appearing. <laughs> right. Um, there is a lot of nationalism going on, but there is something good that is happening, is the young uh, movement. And I'm in touch with a lot of musicians and jazz musicians and artists and poets. Uh, from Romania and they are sending me quite uh, interesting material so I see a revival of culture the tyranny was a suppression of individualism and suppression of culture in 70 years they didn't produce one great painter one great poet finally now at the revolution the new poetry the new art it's coming along so I wish them the best and I wish them that new democracy bring new art. Thank you so what much. What about Mayakovsky? <laughs> Mayakovsky was, was forced into suicide by Stalin at a very early age. Oh, yeah, but uh, they were products of the revolution, too. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Right, well, yeah. This is a poem I wrote for Thule, and it got printed in Evergreen Review. It's called In Search of the Radical Time Pass. I do vividly remember Tully selling books and cartoons on Spring Street, Tully getting naked on the rooftops, reading with Tully, my so called boho guru. Tully, Tully, Tully turning poems into revolution songs, sarcastic, anarchic, pacifist poet on the spot, full-time picnic, stand-up hobo, bohemian. Tully knew how to kiss the radical mind, how to fuck with the rebellious mind. Teach yourself fucking, the title of his latest book. Tully turn absurd cliché into lotuses. He taught his Russian slippers rhythmical dance. We all crashed with him, that gravitational twirl, jumping secretly off the Manhattan Bridge. Tully, Tully scribbling and drawing anarchy cartoons while fogs were spreading the virus of freedom for more than half of the century, Tully singing, Tully vocalizing, Tully chanting, Tully asking questions on cable TV, Tully writing 53 poetry books. The world, oldest rock star, has gone. Tully, only present in my memory. Tully has kissed the hippie sky. Thank you. Another this poem, next poem, is sort of a manifesto. Um, and uh, the title says it all. The poet writes no matter what. in the eye of a superstorm, a poet in total darkness, reading by candlelight, writing near the edge of the roof, 
with a miner's headlights on his forehead on the side of a boat beneath a bridge next to a bonfire he makes peace with the hurricane he calms the storm in the sea seeking the transference of tigers at midnight seeking the transparency of tigers at midnight making mushrooms grow under his pillow making mushrooms grow under his pillow while fungi creeps up and around the wall a tsunami of meteorite showers in my heart clearly confused with bones in his soul even when his sun bites and the cold hurts when petrified clouds blend that light free of words but slaves to feeling setting night birds and lovers on fire self-punishment self-deprecation the poetry brew is poisonous at times sleep deprivation speech deprivation can kill with irrational melancholia erecting temples of repressed memory in the solitude alone in front of death torn inside scribbling above imaginary sex stenciling slogans into a protester's tent he remembers verses in the back of an ambulance car recording his his solitary confinement, suicide's final draft, in total silence, to die alone, to die alone, to die alone and stay immortal. The poet must write no matter what. The poet must write no matter what. The poet must write no matter what, even in death. To read an homage to my wife. Uh, she is the one much responsible for my artistic activity. And uh, I dedicated the book to her. So this poem, I'm going to hold the book in my hands. It's called The Wildness of Her Lips. Can you bring the sound a little bit? Thank you. have shamelessly robbed the Garden of Eden, stolen a goddess for a special sacrifice. I have taken her to secret caves over faraway mountains and ferried her to secluded islands. I have broken magical stones over her, scattered rose petals in her pass. Bacchanalia, Bacchanalian music by an Eros orchestra. Though memories fade and flowers dry, the goddess forever blooms, hypnotic light spells, waterfall of dreams. The austral goddess does her nightly dance, in a dance, in a dance, reviving vanquished fires that burned 
and burned again. Ecstasy of red nipples, beauty of round buttocks, a burst of bloody laughter, a pulsation of lips. The wildness provokes reverberation. Unruly, we harvest self-immortalization. Thank you. He sings the blues backwards. Seoul, 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 she sings. Seoul on Manic Panic Street, left eye missing, eye patch on her right eye, her left foot in the right high heeled shoe, her right hand in a left red glove. The left hand holds love in a suitcase. Her absent mind unfitting, unfitting in the dark noon. The errant heart lost aboard an unmoving train. Seoul, Seoul, she sings, inside the cathedral, by the big tree. Dead birds are hanging from the dead forest. The church bell chimes, yes, six times, six, yet the clock shows 620. The clock always shows 620. A pregnant angel is due to give birth. Her left wing is missing. Scars on the back. Screeching sounds from the right wing. A refusal of hospital delivery. The lady sings to the desert sands. Her left breast is on my right lip. Erotic sounds from below in Soto Voce. The left-right echo, the right-left echo, comes from above. A wedding takes place in a dark hole in a cemetery. The butterflies are in white tuxedos. The grave diggers are nude except the bodies. It is all backwards, diving into the sky. Art imitates life. I still have a mom 
is alive there, my mother Bella, and uh, she's going to be 85. 95. 95. <laughs> she's going to be 95. Unbelievable. Make it bluesy. At the main kiosk of dream distribution, a lady with sad features, trembling hands, clutching her bag, crumpled paper, an eye hidden behind the ear, another looking through her teeth. She remembers a boyfriend in an army of the lost. Maybe she will write a letter to a dead soldier. Smell of petroleum sweet and sour gunpowder. Mountains of skulls are blocking our advancement. Lost in the darkness of the giant piano. A bandaged forehead. Suffering superficial wounds, falling from the bridge deck, a train under a truck, a bridge and her driver under the sewing machine, with a gag in her eyes, mouth bandaged, countless wandering around Crusoe's island, cracked porcelain doll heads, rolling, 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 when you are away from everything familiar, a self-exile against ancestral roots, an endless scar, a tattoo gunshot wound, all over your face, skin and graffiti on eyelids, drunk on bitter wine of foreign language, adverb mates, Advert mates, advert dismates. Stolen dreams, recycled cliches, a robot covered in leaves, fondling naked clones. The only remains are words and rhythmic speech. The wheels of life, triangular and square, Roll along in a sinful parade of freaks With stigmata of anesthetic and vulgar A paralysis of language abetted by conspicuous consumption Conspicuous consumption Conspicuous Conspicuous consumption Conspicuous consumption Below the garden, a room beyond the wall. Free music, free spirit, free expression, free love. While sunrise burns, loneliness hurts, depression kills. Remain indifferent and cold at times. Provisional purgatory, Romania, uneatable bread. Reject defective nightmares, Romania. Decline artificial bliss, Romania. Erase suspicious dreams, Romania. Revolutionize your trivial hallucination until nobody ever sleeps or dreams in Romania. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Valerie Oistiano. God bless. Another homage I uh, would like to read is to Ted Jones. And uh, Ted Jones was one of uh, very bright characters of uh, the generation and also in the surrealist circles. And uh, 
I call him the priest of jazz. His motto was, no bread, no dead. <laughs> he was ready to play anytime. He was able to take on anyone. In Paris, Berlin, in Tombuctu. Jazz was his religion to the end. Realist shaman with a hammock and beat books under his arm, with a hammock and beat books under his horny arm. Birds music in his heart, preaching for Charlie Parker, preaching for Langston Hughes, preaching the beat poets. Just zoetry, mouse and teeth, just zoetry, triple trouble dead, triple trouble dead Jones flutters by, available for impromptu lecture, poet for rent, rent a poet for a revolution. in Africa and instant mirrors for rhinos oh that's dead he kicked he kissed the unpardonable pussy he liberated sexually oppressed fermented betrayed berated and poeticized dead jokes Thank you.